Hello everybody, uh, today's video uh, just another quick demo uh, for uh, the change of the indicator of my bike uh, from the old halogen uh, type like this into the new LED uh, with uh, flowing effect um, the tools you uh, need is very simple uh, you need uh, a test light Obviously, obviously you need um, to be able to tell uh, the positive and negative wire and then you will need a pair of cutters because uh, you need to strip the wire and then you need uh, probably soldering iron uh, and some solder just to rejoin them um, and um, maybe if you prefer the terminal tools you know, with the wire terminals uh, that's another option as well um, if you do that and you probably don't need a soldering iron uh, but myself, I personally prefer uh, soldering. Um, Alright, so uh, quickly, just um, uh, a bit of a... Uh, the main difference, just I need to well, let you know, the main difference between these lights and the uh, factory one is that the factory uh, indicators are driven by a relay. Um, also, we can call that a flasher. Um, so that gives the interval uh, power output uh, from the bikes uh, from the bike into the terminal uh, into the indicators um, however for the new LED light they need constant power so to be able to do that we will need to bypass the relay I'll show you quickly on this bike this is a uh, Suzuki Boulevard um, this is 2015 model, I think, 2015 model. Um, but a lot of them use the same uh, relay here. So all you have to do is you need to cut the brown and blue wire in here. Uh, these two, they go into uh, the relay into this. Uh, this is just the fuse box. It's very easily accessible. Uh, as long as you take the um, the chrome cover off three screws you'll be able to see that um, and you, if you cut these two wires and join the other end together um, I've already done it but um, uh, I've already soldered them together and uh, with a bit of a uh, uh, electric tape because uh, these two they, they, there's no power in it so you can leave it like that or you, I'll probably just uh, put some tape onto um, the wires later on but anyway uh, just to tell you that if you want to bypass the relay for the indicators this is what you need to do you need to cut these two wires and bridge them together just rejoin them together and then um, uh, once you finish that uh, you turn your indicators or your hazard light on uh, that will give the, in the indicators continuous out power output uh, instead of the interval uh, power output um, yeah so just to let you know that this is the key brown and blue wire cut them and rejoin the other end okay that's it any questions just uh, leave your comments below thanks bye